The Man of Steel issue 2 sees the Guardians react to Krypton's untimely destruction, wondering if their protector and warrior Rogal Zar had any hand in the planet's destruction. Appa, a guardian of the universe, hopes that Rogal died during the explosion, since if he could destroy one planet, he won't stop there. In the present, Robinson Good tries to get to the bottom of where Lois Lane is, but is interrupted by Perry, who demands the office stop talking about Lois and where she is, and if they want her office, they need to write as good as she did. Robinson then wonders where Clark is, leading, learning from Trish that both he and Lois never really live by the same rules as everyone else in the office. Clark, meanwhile, is fighting the Toy Man in Coast City. Winslow fires everything he has at the Man of Steel, angered that he found him in Coast City. Ripping open the giant robot Winslow is driving, Superman says he could do great things with his knowledge and inventions, but Winslow isn't interested in being lectured to, still attacking Superman until Green Lantern arrives, sealing him in a soundproof bubble. Hal wants to know what's up with Clark, since he's been missing meetings with the Justice League and he's heard rumours about him. Clark thanks Hal for his help and leaves him to deal with Toy Man. As he speeds off, Clark remembers what came for him and his family recently and led to him throwing the alien bomb that came through a portal into his house to the moon before it explodes. Far into the Vega system, Rogel finds a House of L necklace at a bar he is in, learning from the bartender the story of Superman, the last son of Chris. Krypton. While Clark is upset he had to leave Hal with no answers, he attends another fire breaking out in Metropolis, saving more people from the crumbling building while knowing someone is lighting these fires intentionally for him. Returning to the planet, he hands his ass and the Toy Man story to Perry, who already knows about those incidents. Perry says the planet needs to start to dig deeper and show the public things they don't know yet and they need to do it constantly or they'll be going out of business. While Perry tells Clark that the competition is murdering them, Trish comes by looking for Clark to tell her what happened between him and Lois, and she even wants to run it as a story in the paper. Perry disagrees with it, but she reminds him that it is something that the Daily Planet desperately needs and is a story nowhere else would have. Clark ducks away to deal with a Joker attack while Perry says there is another story out there that can put them back on top and he might just be right as Rogel's ass speeds towards Earth. The Man of Steel issue 2 continued to intrigue me with the story Bendis is telling, but this issue just felt like one big tease for the next issue as we still don't get any answers really. We still only know Lois and John aren't around and the cliffhanger from last issue wasn't fully answered. Was that a bomb that came through the portal? Did a bomb go off and kill them? Did something happen to them with the bomb going off? It wasn't really explained properly. Bendis is going a strange way about telling us his story, but I do like that we are getting more Daily Planet stuff and how Perry is pretty much at his wits ends on how to keep the business running. I think that's really interesting and I really hope we see more of that in his action comics and Superman books. Changing between three different artists over the course of this 22 page book as well was rather jarring and for me it didn't really work. Separately though those artists did a fantastic job and all their art was really good. I'm going to give this issue a 7.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude. Thank you so much for watching.